Hey babes, today in this video I am going to be <laughs> doing our first impressions of the new PS custom palette, Build Your Own Eyeshadows. So I was in Primark like a week ago and I saw these. There was like a full rack of these eyeshadows and they were 60p each. They are max size eyeshadows and they had so many different shades. They had so many neutral shades and a few like colors and stuff. They had blacks, blues, bronzers, and like, you know, the ready toned eyeshadows that we're seeing right now. And Primark's doing bits. Primark literally, you know, watches what all the other cosmetic brands are doing and doing a cheaper version of it. And this is 1.5 grams for 60p. And then you get to buy your own custom palette. I believe there are two variants. There's a nine shadow palette one and then a bigger one. Um, but I got this one and you can fit in nine eyeshadows. So this is the PS nine shade custom eyeshadow palette. And this is a cardboard. It's quite a sturdy cardboard. Three pounds, I'm in. And then you just pop in your eyeshadows in here, kind of similar to the NYX ones. But you know, this is very, very common right now to make your own palettes. You know, Makeup Geek and Sugar Pill have got their own custom palettes. So I'm excited. I'm excited about it. And I got nine shades. I got nine beautiful shades. And I hope, right, let's open one up. Um, this, and they're all named as well. So this one's called Bone. Let me see if they've got names on the inside. So they come in this like um, cardboard packaging, kind of very, very similar to the next ones. Let's just be honest. Do they have the name? Please tell me they've got the name. <gasps> yeah, they do. They do have the name at the back. Ooh, girl. Oh, it's magnetic as well. So it's magnetic and you can just pull it out. There's a little tab here where you can pull it out. And let's assemble this. So guys, I've just popped everything in here. I'm going to show you the palette now. Ta-da! This is my palette. We've got Bone, we've got Sunkiss, which is a metallic shade. This looks beautiful. Let's hope it performs well. This is Earth. This is Vermilion. This is <gasps> Brick. This one's Firecracker, Seafoam. This is like a periwinkle blue color. I like that a lot. That is Peacock and this is Tidal. Let us make a look out of this. I'm gonna use my old trusted MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot for this because I want my shades to pop and I want to give this a fair shot. Do you know what I mean? Like I need to make a sickening look out of this. So, I kind of have an idea of what I, the kind of look that I want to do. I'm first going to go in with Earth, right here. Okay, I'm going to start off with Earth and pop that into the crease. Yo, shut up. Hey, rude boy, shut up. Oh, yes. Yes! Let's do this. Let's bloody do this. I'm going to use Firecracker, which is the orange. I'm going to pop that above. I'm going to go in with Vermilion and really blend those colors through. Yo, these eyeshadows are bare pigmented. Stop. If this is 60p, what are these like freaking companies charging us so much for? Do you see that blend? Do you see <coughs> that blend though? I'm gonna do an out of V moment. I'm going to pop the dark brown right onto the outer corner. I'm just going to use my concealer and cut the crease. Let me tell you guys, I was actually so excited to see this in my Primark and the Primark that I went to was the Leeds Trinity one. Okay, after that, I'm going to be wetting my brush using my Smashbox. 
I'm going to use my Smashbox Primer Water and now I'll use Sunkissed right here, it's the metallic shade and let's see how the metallic shades do because up until now we've been using matte shades <gasps> I'm shook, this is 60p I'm so... what? Shut up how is this 60p? This looks like an expensive eyeshadow, what the heck? Oh my gosh. I'm so done, I'm so finished. What? Stop right there, go. Finish this video, go to Primark. What? I'm done. I'm so, f what? 60p, yeah. 60p, yeah. We're all blessed, guys, we're all blessed. Go get yourself some Primark eyeshadows, because this is sick. Okay, I just did some liner. Now I'm just going to pop on my primer at the bottom. I'm going to use my MAC 252 and use the Bone Shade. And I'm applying that onto the inner corner of the eye. I'm using a matte today as a highlight. I'm going to use Seafoam right here and apply that to the inner corner of the eye. Let's see if the colours in the palette are as pigmented as the neutrals. Stop. 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 I'm so what? I'm so shocked. I'm going to use Tidal and apply that to the lower lash line. Oh my gosh. This looks like the KKW blue shade. This is beautiful. Stop it. I'm gonna use the Periwinkle shade and apply that onto the blend. Is this one as pigmented? This one's not as pigmented, you guys. If I swatch some of the colors actually, here are some swatches, pretty good. I think that the periwinkle is just a little bit um, skippy and not as pigmented. But what are you going to be mad for? I mean, the rest of it is sick. I'm going to use this Barry Am eyeshadow pencil in number six. It's a navy color. I'm going to pop that into the waterline. You know, have this sickening blue moment. Since we are so drama filled already, I'm just going to cut the crease. A little bit more with the black liner. I'm going to mix in brick and earth and blend that through. This is not from Primark, but I need a black to kind of blend that through. So I'm going to use a Bulletproof from Sugar Pill. They do actually have a black in the Primark range. I don't know how good it is because I didn't pick it up. Just because I have so many black eyeshadows, it would be good. It would have been good to kind of test that out as well, but... I don't know. I wanted to try the other colors instead. I'm gonna pop my lashes and then I'm gonna come back. So guys, I've just done my face. I just put a little bit of lip gloss on, put some face, you know. I wanna look super, super bronze for this. And um, I added rhinestones as well because I'm extra like that. And some people might say, why don't you just showcase the eyeshadows and not add anything on like that? And I just think to myself, who thinks of minimalism when you can have maximalism? You know what I mean? Add more. Always add more with me. So, um, I love it. <sighs> I just had to blow out all of those powders because there was a lot of fall down. Yo, sis, I'm not being funny, eh? But this is, um, this is such a two. This is such a two. Two or boo, I give it a two because 60p per eyeshadow, three pounds for the palette. How much is that? Six times nine is 54. So five pounds 40 add three pounds is eight pounds 40. This whole palette is eight pounds 40. I am, I'm finished. I am so finished. Try this, seriously you guys. There's so many more shades. I will let you know what I think about it. By the way, I also did my makeup with the Morphe sponge. I've tried it for the first time. I featured this in a haul video and I also um, used my MUA Ultra Fine Loose Powder. 
in mattifying translucent. Okay, so I did a video on this, a testing video, and I thought it was shimmery. Um, I had totally forgotten that I applied a shimmery primer beforehand, that's why I was like, why is it shimmery? I don't like it. Uh, my verdict on this is I still don't like it because it make, makes my face look chalky. It makes my face look chalky and dry, and my face is already dry, so I ain't about this life, and I think that, to be honest, when you use a wet beauty blender on this, the powder goes chunky, it's not nice. I don't think, I don't know, I'm not a big fan of this at all. Regardless that it's not shimmery, like how I said in that video, I was very, very vocal, and I gave this a boot. I still give it a boot. Um, if you want to watch that video, I'll leave it down below, because I'm very, very vocal. <laughs> I was very, very vocal about this product. Watch the video. I still don't like it. And this, this is way too hard. This is way too hard. And I've wet it and I've like drenched it in water and squeezed all the water out of it. Just don't like it. Um, but we're not here to talk about those products. We're you see, my mind gets distracted, but these eyeshadows are sick. I would honestly really, really recommend it. Um, I'm not a big fan of the periwinkle blue color. It's such a nice color on the pan, but the rest of the shades, I am in love. I mean, come on. I mean, come on. I mean, come on. Especially that, like, look at that shade. Look at that sun kissed shade on my eyes. It just looks so beautiful. I'm actually very, very happy to show you this product. I hope that you um, can let me know if you buy some of this and show me your looks, tag me on Instagram, talk to me on Twitter, all of that, all of that, at mark.zapanta. Let's get this video to 250 likes, let's see if we can do that. And I love you, all five of you. Bye guys!